Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing this lovely purple kind of glittery smoky look for you today. Um, I used a few new products that I've never used before. Some of them um, are a little more expensive, whereas some of them are a little more on the affordable end. So I'll definitely be sure to let you know in the description box down below what I thought of everything, how it wore, how it applied, um, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments or on my Instagram. I will have pictures posted of this look as well. Um, so yeah, if you like this look, just please keep on watching and make sure to leave some love if you like it. So we're going to start off by making our skin glowy, dewy, luminous, um, and what I'm going to use to do that is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundations. You usually see me using the Pro Matte, but since I want a more dewy, um, springtime, fresh look for this one, I'm going to be using these two guys. I'm going to start out with shade 202, which is Creamy Natural. Just because I'm not really sure that 201 is going to be dark enough um, since it's their lightest shade. So I'm just going to start with 202 and if it's a little too dark I'll add some of the 201 to it. Sometimes if I don't want a full matte look I'll also add the um, Pro Glow to my Pro Matte. So you can always cocktail your foundations to suit your needs. So I'm just using my damp Real Techniques sponge today. Uh, my Beauty Blender is dirty. So this one is an affordable dupe, in my opinion, that you can get usually in like a two pack for a pretty good price at Ulta. So it's kind of nice because you can always have one um, that's clean as a backup in case you need it. For concealer under my eyes, I'm going to go in with Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind. I'm in the shade Light. Um, it's almost gone. As you can see, there's literally like a centimeter of it left. So I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes. I'm not going to go in with the full triangle that I usually do just because I'm going for a more soft natural look here. So I'm just going to kind of cover up where I have a little bit of baggage. I feel like this one is a little bit more hydrating than the Tarte Shape Tape. So that's why I opted to go with this one today and give it a try. So I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Um, just a nice quick little bit of powder, not baking, nothing super heavy. So I'm just going to go in right beneath the eye, right where my creasing would happen, and just set that so that doesn't happen. For this look, you're not going to set your face like you usually do, just because you want the glowiness and the luminous luminosity of the foundation to show through. You want it to look like your real skin as much as possible. So then I'm going to drag some of the leftover translucent powder up onto my eyelids just to set those. While I'm waiting for my foundation to set a little bit and dry on my skin, I'm going to do my brows and just get that out of the way. So just first start by brushing them through lightly with a little spoolie. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Express Brow Kit in soft brown just to fill in my brows, give them a little more definition and fill in any little bald spots. Now once you feel like you have it filled in pretty good, just make sure you brush it out with the spoolie, make sure you didn't miss any spots, and to kind of evenly distribute everything through the brow. So as always, once the brows are filled in, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and just set them so they don't go anywhere. For my first shade on my eyes today, I'm going to be using Unexpected by Makeup Geek. It's a nice kind of dusty, grayish purple color. I'm going to be taking that on a Luxie 205. Just your standard blending brush. And I'm going to pull that through the crease as my transition color. I'll probably end up blowing it out as well and smoking it out towards the eyebrow. So I'm going to be doing circular motions as well as one chill wiper just to make sure that it's blended to max capacity. This is actually my first time using my new Luxie brushes. Well, they're not really new. I bought them a few months ago in a big kit. 
and I was just afraid to use them because they're so new and pristine and beautiful. So I figured you spent money on good brushes, girl, you better use them. So here we are. And so far I'm really liking them. They are a really nice quality. They're very soft. Next I'm going to go in with Cupcake by Makeup Geek. It's another single eyeshadow. Um, this one is kind of a dusty, nice light pink, and I think it'll just help add a little bit of dimension. Um, I'm going to do a wash over the lid and then pull it up into the crease as well. So now I want to go in and add a little bit more definition and depth to the crease. So I'm going to be going in with Makeup Geek's Bitten Single Eyeshadow. It's a nice, warm, deep, kind of cherry cola color. And I'm going to be using a Luxie 229, slightly smaller than the last blending brush that we used. I'm not going to get too heavy handed with this just at first on the outer V because I will be adding a foiled shadow on the lid. So I'm just going to be carving out the outer V as well as the crease. And I don't want to go too far above the crease. And if you're having trouble finding your crease, you can always tilt your head back and kind of see where the eye sits in the socket and just trace along that line. There are some people who don't have a super defined crease, so that's always a really good tip to help those people to find it. Now for the showstopper. I've never tried this product before, but I've seen it online and it is a Korean brand and I feel like they're light years ahead of us in everything that they're doing in beauty and skincare. So I thought I'd give it a try. This is the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil Duo. Um, it's a like a metal foiled cream shadow and then it's a glitter that you lay on top of it. So I haven't tried it, so this is the first impression. We'll see, see if we dig it. Uh, the color I'm using is number five, Lottie. This is what the cream side looks like. Um, it's kind of weird. So I'm going to use a Luxie lip brush to do this. This is their number 100 brush. And I'm just going to take it and get the product off of the little applicator. And just paint it on and hope for the best. <laughs> color I don't think like this before so it's definitely something new and fun I did buy a gold one and I was tempted to use that but that's more my comfort zone so I kind of wanted to branch out and do something a little bit different now I'm gonna use the glitter side it also comes with kind of a weird applicator so I'm not sure I'm thinking I'm gonna use the lip brush and just pack it on instead of using their applicator because it's just kind of kind of weird to me. I'll show you. So when you pull it out, it's kind of like a little scoop. So it kind of scoops the, the product out. And the glitter is a bit more pink. So it kind of gives this like a cool rose gold type of look. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's not rose gold, but it gives me a rose gold vibes. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody but me. Okay, so it should look something like this. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe I used it wrong. I, I doubt it though. I'm gonna go back in on my Luxie 229 and put a little bit more of Bitten on the outer corners and just try to smoke it out a little bit. So I still want the edges to be a little bit smokier and darker than they are. So I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek Sensuous, which is kind of a dark, it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, it's a dark purple. I'm gonna use my 229 for that. And just kind of pat it into the outer corners. So since I left the 
face dewy. It'd probably be better to do this step with some cream contour, but I don't have any and I don't really have much experience with cream contours. So I'm just going to go in with my NYX contour palette and I'm going to be using probably this cool shade right here. Maybe mixed with a little bit of this warmer shade here. To contour, I'm going to be using a Luxie 504, which is a large angled brush. And I actually saw a trick online that I'm going to try to make your lips look a little fuller. So there's always going under here with bronzer. It helps to push out the bottom lip a little bit. And then I heard that filling in this Cupid's bow area also helps a little bit. So I'm just going to shade that indentation in. I don't know if that helped. If it did anything, I don't really care. We'll see. So next I'm going to apply my blush. I'm going to be using Milani T Rose, my uh, go-to. I'm going to be using a Luxie 514, which is their blush brush. For highlight, I'm going to be going in with a mix of two different ones. I'm going to be using my Benefit Watts Up as a cream base, and then I'm going to set a powder highlight over it. And just lightly tap it in to the high points of my cheek. I'm going to put a little bit on the cupid's bow, a little onto the tip of my nose, maybe at the bridge a tiny bit. For highlight, I'm going to be going in with Becca's Moonstone Highlighter. It's a really nice pale, kind of yellowy white. And I'm going to be using the Luxie 522, which is a tapered highlighter brush. And I'm just going to take it and dip the side of it into the pan, tap it off, and then just put it right over where I had the Benefit Watts up. And then add it here, a little on the tip, and then a little bit on the bridge of the nose and the chin. And then I'm going to go into my inner corner highlight with Becca as well. Now I'm going to finish up the bottom lash line and I'm going to be using Makeup Geek's Unexpected. And I'm going back in on the 229 brush and just dragging it right along that lower lash line. I'm going to go in back with the 217 pencil brush that I used for my inner corner and I'm going to use Sensuous again by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to get right up to the lash line with this. I'm going to take that same color back on my little fluffy blending brush just to deepen up the outer edges even more and to smoke everything out as much as possible. For lashes today I'm going to go with some Ardell Demi Wispies. So these are a little bit thicker and more dramatic than their regular wispies. So while my lash glue is drying, I'm going to put on a little mascara onto my real lashes. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. It's in their blackest black shade. I'm still trying to figure out if I like this mascara. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's my real lashes that just don't cooperate or if it's the mascara, but it makes them kind of chunky or like clumped together, which I really don't like. But, I don't know. It might just be my real lashes. They're not the greatest. So there's one side on, and I'm going to do the other side real quick. So I'm going to finish up with lips. Um, I've got a little bit of Bite Beauty's Agave Lip Mask on. I had it on before I started, just to keep my lips really hydrated and moisturized. So I'm going to go in with a matte lippy stick by Colourpop Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Grunge. I'm assuming this will apply a little, a touch more sheer than it's supposed to, just because I have the uh, lip mask on. Okay, so there you have it. This is the final look. Um, I'm really pleased with how it came out. I think this Touch and Soul Metalist Duo 
um, worked out really, really nice. Um, it's a pretty decent price point. I'll put it in the description box below. And I just think it's, I don't know, I think it turned out really nice. Um, I'm hoping it comes out as well on camera as it did here. Um, as always, if you liked the video, please let me know down in the comments or by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. And I hope to see all your faces again.